This is generating G code for your D3D Universal Pen Plotter using open source tools. An open source ecology tutorial playlist by Melanie. Let's get started. I was on creating a template for Inkscape. Inkscape is a very valuable tool in the tool chain of taking images and making them into G code. You can process PNGs into SVGs using Inkscape and you can take SVGs from other sources um, whether you create them in a program like Processing or whether you download them from the internet and you can take those SVGs using Inkscape and generate G-code. But the first thing you'll want to do is you're going to want to create a template. Like most programs, templates are basically preset document settings that save you time so that you don't have to manually edit your document properties every time you start a project. I already have a couple set up. So if I go to graphics and I go to Inkscape, I'll show you the templates that I created already and then I'll tell you how I did them. So you access templates using control in or new from template from your file menu. I have ready for my D3D Universal projects this portrait plotter template. Um, as you may know the D3D uh, print bed is 150 millimeter by 150 millimeter by 150 millimeter so it is a square but um, we there's about a three centimeter offset on the particular machine that we're using and we found that merely um, adjusting the bed dimensions in this way makes it uh, possible to plot our projects properly. Now if I click create from template it um, shows up like so. Alright, so how did I, how can I do that? How can I make one? So, the first thing I would do is I would go to Document Properties. I check my units, they should be in millimeter, and I put my bed dimensions. Now, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to make a square bed template just in case in the future I need that. So once I change the dimensions I press enter and you'll see that there is a slight square there. And then let's make me a little bit smaller now that we're done with the intro. Okay so I have my square template now I'm going to save it and I'm going to save it in my home folder so it's real easy for me to grab and I'm going to call it square bed because I can call it whatever I want. These um, underscores will render as spaces for the purpose of naming your templates and then I click save and I click OK. Then I open up my files and you'll see that square bed is right right there. Oops, I didn't mean to save as PDF. Mm, how did that happen? I didn't mean to do that. You're going to need to save as SVG. So if that ever happens, just go back, save as SVG. <laughs> okay, so now I have my SVG. I'm going to just go ahead and delete that. Alright, so then I'm going to I'm going to open a new tab and I'm going to show you where the Inkscape uh, templates folder is located because we're going to want to copy this template to someone's whistling outside and that's great for them. Okay, we go to user, we go to share, we scroll down to Inkscape, I passed it by a million miles apparently. 
Um, there we go, Inkscape. And we go into... So I just want to point out real quick that these other folders are pretty interesting too. Um, you can add palettes from other sources, you can add fonts, um, and you can add extensions. And that can be very important sometimes. But what right now we're doing is we're adding templates. Now all of those folders, including this one, you can only add to them if you have root permissions. So um, we could have done that in the terminal by using a sudo command, but for the purpose of this tutorial we're just going to use the GUI and we put in our root password in the folder like so and we end up with our elevated privileges window. So Then we can go back to this tab we copy and we paste. Square bit. All right. Um, and now you're going to notice you're going to need to exit out of Inkscape, reopen Inkscape. And Oops. New from template. And there is our square bed template. So that's how you created a template for Inkscape. Thanks for watching.